Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Oscar here, bringing you a brand new mod pack from Feed the Beast called Departed. Now, Departed is all about exploring new realms, encountering ghoulish creatures, and acquiring armor and weapons and all sorts of other great stuff. So this is going to be a great sequel to our Hexit series. So as we progress through today's video, definitely let me know if this is something you guys want to see more of and possibly even making this our Twitch series. We'll see. We'll start it with YouTube and then we'll kind of decide if we want to make this be our Twitch series. So very excited for today. And like I said, definitely let me know if you want to see it continue. So give me a yay or give me a nay if uh, you guys want to see the series continue. And let's get right into it. So of course, this is our our book so this is kind of the book that kind of helps us get going here so we can kind of just quickly kind of thumb through here real quick really well built um, book here you can give a little table of contents and of course you can click here to go home at any time to your starting page and of course we must get our log suit and then down below here yes we're gonna put on a log suit even putting bark on your skin is better than nothing, apparently. But uh, down below here, we got to actually focus a little bit on Pam's Harvest Craft because there's a mod in here that has diminishing returns on food. So the more you eat of one food, like say we eat a lot of cake, if we eat lots and lots of cake, it will be less and less nutritious and we'll get less and less for our efforts of eating the cake. So pretty cool. Um, next thing over here, we have the savanna. Avoid the savanna. Desert, avoid, and of course the taiga, avoid, because there's mushrooms. High level mushrooms, apparently. Sphinx and hunter hunter mobs. Okay, that is something we're going to avoid. Moving on. And then down below here, it kind of gives us a little bit of information on how to build your base, how to keep yourself safe from all of the Age of Ascension mobs. Advent of Ascension, by the way. I mispronounced that. Anyway, next. In the uh, overworld, there are events like the full moon, of course, and the, I always call it blood moon, it is the blood hunt, by the way, the blood hunt. Now, the blood hunt has all sorts of ghoulishly horrible creatures that will come out and try to kill you. So, yeah, that's a thing. And then down here, we've got all of our new ores within the world that will help us build some of the, you know, the different armors and different weapons and things that come with the overarching mod that takes this whole kind of mod pack and puts it kind of together and that is the advent of ascension and that is what all the mobs that are new and unique and the weapons and things like that so I have some really fun ideas to kind of build like armories and all that good stuff for all the different things that we encounter there we go and then of course there's all sorts of other stuff like staffs and runes and all sorts of good stuff base defenses um the teleportation to get to the other realms and things like that which we'll get to later on and all right we have loaded up our world and of course we're in a desert and i can see those dangerous mobs are right over there so we are not going to go over there and there is something in that top left corner that i want to explore and that looks like a village maybe we just got lucky oh oh look at how cute oh he's not cute oh boy he's not cute he's after us so cute but not oh no 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 that's something dangerous too okay we're right off of a good start today we've already got some Hostile mobs already after us. Oh, that's some more hostile mobs. This is gonna be great. <laughs> we start out here and there are already everything is trying to kill us. And hey, to my rescue, a castle emerges in the distance. How lucky is that? We'll just sneak right on into the castle. Goodbye. Oh, they're coming right after us. Oh, puffballs are coming after us. Oh, he's so cute. Why does he want to hurt me? Look at him, look at him, you just want to give him a big old hug and a big squeeze. But no, he wants to kill me. He wants to kill me. Oh, that's a ravine. Uh oh, I mean you no harm. I mean you no harm. Oh, oh, you're friendly. You saved me. But you're killing, you're killing Puffball. I love Puffball. But he was just so misunderstood. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is great. I've got a little defense for us. Do you think I'm their long lost king? Your king has arrived. Your king has arrived. Bow down to Scar. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow, I actually think so. Hmm. All right, well, I'll just take over your village. Thank you for the assistance. I am now your king, and I will take all of your potatoes. Ah, oh, there we go. Even your poisonous potatoes. I don't even care. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Anyway, that was quite a start to the uh, episode. Anyway, um, at the very top, as you can see, there are some little dials and some meters and all sorts of good stuff. Now, I don't know 100% on how all that works, but the first one there 
is a meter that is kind of like vitality, I guess. It had, and it kind of, eh, I'm not even gonna really go into it because I don't know the full extent of it. All I know is that uh, when it's working fully, it allows you to have different uh, combat abilities and things. We'll get into that more later on when we can build some of the things that are related to it. Next thing is a gauge that tells us how close we are to pleasing the gods of the day. So, oh, as you can see, we just pleased one of the gods, the farming god, slightly. And when we do farming or we do uh, mining or different tasks within the world that please the gods, as you can see, there's a little bit of green there. And when the green goes all the way to its fullest extent, that means that we now have pleased that god and he or she will give us um, some ability for the night, some type of buff, some type of, uh, of extra ability. Oh, hello there, chicken strips. I will take you. I will love you. Uh -huh. All right, so um, I need wood and I don't want to go back out there, so I'm just going to borrow this. Don't tell them, but I'm just going to borrow their uh, planter box wood. But anyway, um, so when you mine or something, the, um, the ability will, um, you know, once you mine more and more and more, um, you'll get more and more of those experience points that will go up. And then at the, at the start of the night, the god will say, I am pleased by your actions in the day. And then it will give you some form of gener regeneration or some type of buff of some kind. The next two things, they are, I'm not exactly sure. One of them is related towards some of the weapons. And then the next one is a thing that can allow you to have kind of some little minions follow you around. Um, we'll get to those things as we move along. But that's kind of a brief overview as much as I know at this point. The mod pack, like I said, is only a few days old. And there's relatively no information on the mod at this point. So, uh... We're kind of just rolling at the seat of our pants, just the way we like it. All right, there we go. Just stealing as much of their wood as possible. I'm sorry about it, but it must be the way it is because I'm now your king. I am your long lost king. Come back here to help you all in your devilishly creatures that take over the world and all that good stuff. There we go, awesome. And then we'll set that down and a boom, bada bam, there we go. And then we'll get that all settled, there we go. We'll get ourselves a couple sticks ready to roll, there we go. And then of course, we'll, we're gonna get our um, that armor built up pretty soon. I just really wanna get a sword, just so I know that like I can at least potentially, potentially, I might add, defend myself. I'm not gonna guarantee any defense. I'm not gonna guarantee any defense. And I'm surprised I even remembered how to make wood tools. There we go. It's been a while since I actually started a Let's Play at this level, at this level of nothing. All right, there we go. All right, so at least we've got some supplies. Let's clear all that nonsense out of there. Let's keep our carrots ready to rock. Um, ooh, hello. I would like you, and I would like you. Awesome, I'll replant you later on. Let's take a little look around the village. Ah, it's nice to be back in my village now that the king has arrived. <laughs> I can't believe we found this. This is great. All right, there we go. Oh, ravine. Well, I mean, that's a great place to go and uh, explore. And oh, hello, bed. You will become my bed. You will become the royal bed. <laughs> you will become the royal bed. What are you looking at? All right, let's move on here. Ooh, magical flowers. Oh, is this a tinker's house? Oh, please be a Tinker's house. I don't know if it is, but it would be amazing if... Dang it, it's not. I was hoping it was a Tinker's house. Okay, I'm stuck in the ground. So keep a weather eye open, my friends. Keep a weather eye open for a Tinker's house so that we can, you know, get some, you know, crafting tables and all that good stuff all set up and... Oh, there's the smeltery. Oh. Whoa, there's a goblin in there. There's a goblin. I think it was a goblin. He was green and mischievously with his magic. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave you in there. You're trapped in there. I'm just gonna leave you in there. You're gonna have that attitude with me. You're just gonna stay in there. Mm -hmm. This is the way it is. Just the way it is. Okay, so I'm not finding what we need. Hmm. So I'm gonna swap that out and I would like to get just a bit more wood. And I think we're, oh boy, that's a savannah biome. We are like right on the edge of two very dangerous, um, biomes so that's going to be a bit of a problem but you know what we'll work through it we'll work through it i would have loved to have seen biomes of plenty actually applied to this um 
yeah, it's something we maybe maybe they'll add. Who knows? Um, but that would have been cool to actually have biomes of plenty attached to this mod. Um, other things that would be cool, um, I might do the shaders mod. I was having some horrible performance issues at the start of this. So I don't know what the deal is with that. I think I've at least got it somewhat worked out. Um, I put on Optifine, um, just a few other things like that. Um, like I always say, there's something odd with my computer and it's not been working to 100% lately. Um, so I might add shaders mod down the road a little bit. So give me a yes or no if you guys would like to see the shaders mod. Kind of gives it a nice unique feel a little bit. Um, so we'll think about it. Um, I'm still looking for the Tinker's House and I don't think this village has a Tinker's House. Which is kind of bumming me out a little bit. Oh, uh, did we just win a game show? I feel like we just did. Well, I'll accept my prize at the end of the Let's Play. All right. Um, oh, hello there, extra crispy. Yum, 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 yum. You've come all the way from Skyland. Anybody remember extra crispy from uh, from the Hunt for Horses way back in what was that like 2013? Oh, hello. You're 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 yeah. No, yeah. I'm just going to box you in. There's a witch in there. We'll keep the witch in. Um, okay, I'm just gonna borrow this. Just, just gonna borrow that. No need to worry. Hello, is the librarian? Hello, librarian. What you got in here? The Book of Biomes of Witchery. Oh, awesome. Oh my, that's a whole thing that I don't want to get into yet because I have no idea. And there's my castle. Welcome home, Sky. You're home away from home. Oh, this is amazing. Uh oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Where'd you come from? Get out of here! This is Scar's home. Wait, you can't come in here? Oh, I don't think he can come in. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, perfect. Wonderful. Let's actually turn this into our house. So awesome! This is going to be. Oh my gosh! Oh, did we hit easy mode or what? So this is a very difficult mod pack, but I kind of feel like we just. Uh, Gotta hit the jackpot here. So um, let's actually get some um, things all set up here. So why don't we get at least a little bit of armor. So like we talked about before, the nighttime is going to be crazy. So we need to get a waypoint set up. So we need to get a bed. So that's very important. So we don't always have to kind of, you know, start at square one, if you will. Um, so that's important. There we go. And then I don't have enough. So let's go get just a bit more wood. And then uh, we'll set up some Tinker's things. Unfortunately, like we looked around, I don't see any Tinker's house. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, so yeah, at least there's a smell tree. I mean, at least there's a smell tree. What are you? Are, are you a mean tree? Oh boy, yeah, he's a mean tree. He's a mean tree, guys. He's a mean tree. He's a mean tree. Uh oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get back to headquarters. Get back to headquarters. <laughs> okay, apparently there's mean trees. All right, so at night, we're gonna take some of this cobble. We're gonna turn that cobble into um, a furnace. Then we'll be able to cook our uh, pork chops and things. Have a real nice dinner. Okay. Okay, the tree's after us again. <laughs> Here comes the tree. Oh my gosh. Hey, bro, if you come after me one more time, I'm gonna get some flint and steel. Now you're, then we'll see who's boss. That's right. That's right, don't give me that attitude. I got flint and steel, I can get it. Uh-oh. Night falls on the world, may the luck be on your side of the gods, girly heart. Okay, that's a thing. Um, I'm trapped in my castle by a tree and a cyclops, which can't get in because his eye's too big. See, post eye doesn't work out. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave you guys at your own devices and I'm going to somewhat dismantle my base so I can cook some pork chops. All right, so I guess I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna do that. Oh, oh, we do need to make sure we do get the bed. That's our like number one priority is to get that bed settled. So once we get at least a couple more um, cobblestone blocks and then we'll get our bed all set up and ready to go. So this is gonna be fun. This is fun. Even though we've set up with a couple challenges here, just a couple challenges, but it's okay. We love a couple challenges, don't we? Just a couple challenges is always good. All right, I will put all the stone back. Don't worry, we'll we'll repair this. Maybe we'll even take this place and turn it into something a little more special. We'll kind of dismantle it and rebuild it. But we're not going to do a ton of building, just a little bit. We'll use some of the mods. There's some chisel mod and stuff. I don't know if Carpenter's Blocks is actually in the mod pack. That's actually a good question. We could go over that in a little bit. Um, but there is some of our favorites, like the chisel, and I think even the uh, prop mods in here from... 
Stud tech, the one with the balls, you put them together. What's that called? Deco craft, there we go, beautiful. All right, so let's go upstairs and remember where we actually put our crafting table. Oh, there you are, awesome. And then we'll just swoop that across there, beautiful, wonderful. And then I don't need to make two, I'm just gonna make one. Just one's fine. And put that in there, beautiful, awesome. All right, now we just need to make our bed. One there, boom, and I should actually make some dirt. Not dirt, wood, scar, not dirt. Now, I don't know what that sound is. It doesn't sound good, but I feel like I'm actually being protected in the little sanctuary that we have here. So that must be a good thing. I think this will be my bedroom. This will be my bedroom, and I'm gonna go to sleep. And I can't go to sleep because there's a tree outside that wants to kill me. So let's take care of that. Hey guys, hey guys, can't get me, can you? Nope, nope, nope. Told you. Ooh, you drops things. I like it. Anyway, let's go. Let's go to sleep. So let's head on up to our bedroom. There we go. All right, that is awesome. That is super awesome. Okay, wonderful. We slept that night away. Ah, this is great. This is a great start to the series. And got a little castle all set up here. I've got my little village. There's even a watchtower over there. So we need to get the smeltery online. So, ooh, that witch is freaky. Wait, what is in here? Oh gosh, it's like a devilishly horrible creature in that well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't like that at all. No, no, I'm not. Uh oh. Oh, what are you? What are you? Evil, I can tell. Yep, yep, yep. Oh gosh. Oh man, everything's bad here. Everything wants to hurt me. <laughs> Why are you not helping me, villager? Why are you not helping me? Oh my gosh, come on. There we go. Oh wow, that was rough. Oh, oh. He got out of the well. The demon of the well got out. Okay, well at least, you, at least we got our bed set up and now you guys can kind of see the looting of the bodies. Which is probably going to be something that we were going to be doing a lot. Um, we should have a stockpile of weapons and armor ready to go when we do die so we don't have to go defenseless back to our body. Alright, we're gonna sneak along here. We're gonna sneak along here. I think the biggest thing we need to learn here is that we need to avoid more than attack. Avoid and then attack. Attacking is secondary. So that's something we need to make sure we do is... Alright, we got everything? Everything good? Okay, let's put in our armor back on. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Where's my shoes? Did we not make shoes? Maybe we didn't make shoes. And I'm holding something I don't know what it is. But anyway, let's um get back to our base. Let's get back to our base. We've got our bed set up. We've got a little something here and there. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about the Let's Play in our next episode here. We'll start to arrange our Tinker's things and get that all set up. But yeah, this is our very first episode. Kind of getting our familiar with the mods and all that good stuff. We've encountered the devil of the well, and we've encountered cyclopses and evil trees and all sorts of great stuff. So, like I said, definitely give me some feedback if you want to see more of this. Hopefully you enjoyed. And yeah, so until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Down in a big turn and then making its way back up. We need to kind of get that area laid out, and I really want to get the main track built. And then we can work on, you know, the supports, the show building, all that good stuff eventually. Um, one problem I've found is that I was completely out of, you know, the woods. The different acacia, the milk chocolate wood, the dark chocolate. I was completely out of acacia. I had a little bit of dark chocolate and a little bit of spruce. So I've been spending just hours upon